So day two, I'm two hours away from my uh, anniversary of going into day three. And, um, you know, it is a tough day. Um, I woke up this morning um, and I was hungry. I was doing my best not to think about food. I had water. I just made my third cup of tea just to, you know, keep my brain occupied and, and, and keep my uh, fluid intake. Uh, I've also had my salt. I had that with my water first thing. Um, I had about eight or nine granules. I just chomped them. You know, it's it's it doesn't taste foul. I mean, it's 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 high salt content, obviously, but you know, I crunch it. I just let it dissolve on my on my tongue, and then I have a drink of water. I do think it really helps. Um, but anyway, here are the health benefits of a fast uh, or a factory reset, as you know, I like to call it. Um, particularly if you're going to go into day three and beyond. Uh, and in day one, you will go into a phase called autophagy. And autophagy is really, really quite powerful. And it's it's interesting that you go into this phase quite early on. And it's um, your body's way of obviously searching for energy because you've digested your your last meal so it's thinking okay where am I going to get that energy from and it starts to clean out all your bad cells all your infected cells cells of, of, with disease or remnants of viruses all those kind of things it says right I don't need those now um, I'll clean those up and I'll use them for energy so that that phase um, you, you know is all positive because not only are you uh, cleansing out your digestive system uh, and your gut you're also cleansing out those bad cells so that's that's really a win-win and you know on day one you're in there day two uh, your body's really really searching for energy now and so it starts to hopefully eat away at your fat reserves and you know for me I do have uh, that middle-aged <laughs> sort of belly fat uh, and fat stores on my hips, you know, around where my kidneys are. And this is the sort of fat that I don't usually shift by intermittent fasting. I can control it by intermittent fasting, but I don't seem to to shift anymore. So, you know, this is one of the reasons why I like to prolong my fast so that hopefully I can just, you know, trim down and lose a bit of that weight. Um, so so day two is is hard but your body's your body's doing well because it's using those reserves and um uh the, according to studies it says here that you know the 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 enhanced stem cell rejuvenation um and the uh the prolonged fasting into day two can really help um you know you, your the the neurological benefits um and particularly in reducing the risk to neurodegenerative diseases so you know i'm dyslexic so you know things like that are a bit of a struggle for me but neurodegenerative diseases you know you're combating some of those some of those neurological diseases that you might get when you're older so another added benefit there in day three, you start to improve your insulin uh, sensitivity. And so your insulin levels are dropping within the body and your body becomes less um, uh, reliant on those and more resistant to those. And this is something that's going to help you um, when you come out of your fast and your eating you won't feel the need to have high sugar, high carbohydrate food um, because you're, you're, you're not craving it. You're not addicted to it anymore. Um, and so, you know, huge benefits there on, on day three, as well as, you know, autophagy continuing um, and ketosis. Ketosis usually takes a while for me. Uh, I test using these strips um, and... Um, you know, I, on day one, I'm testing, I'm thinking, come on, come on, ketosis. 
and uh, uh, I'm, I, I, I generally show a little trace, but not much. Day two's the same. Um, you know, I tested this morning. I've got a tiny sort of trace just showing there, sort of kicking in. So I think really it's a day three thing for me for this to start becoming um, a reality. Um, but, but I think that that's maybe because my metabolism is quite slow. And, you know, it's one of the reasons why I like to do this fast is that I find that I, I, I overeat and my system almost has backlog. Uh, and so um, just giving it that that space uh, is, is great. But I think really uh, the ketosis takes its time and you might be lucky enough to uh, to crack on with that in day one. Um, so day four. Um, I'm reading this now, uh, you can experience heightened levels of protein called brain-derived neutrophic factor, BDNF, and this protein promotes the growth of survival of new neurons uh, within the brain, which helps to improve cognitive function. And I think that that's why on day three, you start to feel more alert, you start to feel more um clear in your in your your thinking and your brain you know you feel sharper uh, that's definitely the case with me in fact i'm starting to feel that now um and you know that's 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 the stuff of good stuff <laughs> you know it, it, it you start to feel amazing uh and that clarity of 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 thinking and your brain is uh is really quite powerful because why wouldn't you want that in your life um, it's something that feels so good and you know it's related to that kind of lethargy and um, and low energy levels at this point you, you you feel like you've got lots of energy so despite not having any food increased energy levels sharper clearer thinking uh, improve neurological um, cell replacement and, and and rejuvenation. So that's that's immensely powerful. And um, studies have shown here at, at, at day five, and I think this is really really interesting. Uh, and I'm going to be quoting from uh, someone I, I I got this information from. Uh, and this is all about um, the growth of the anterior mid cingulate cortex within the brain. And this is an area that's deep, deep within the brain. Uh, and what happens is here, and I'll, I'll quote from Andrew Huberman, who, um, you know, he's, he's on he's on YouTube, he's on the Internet. And what he's saying here is that what's interesting about this this area of the brain and and there's data there's clear data about this now so um you know scientists are beginning to find out more uh, with their studies and and this this is coming to light is that the mid, the anterior mid cingulate cortex gets bigger uh in people who diet and lose weight and is smaller in people that are obese and what they think is that it's linked to overcoming something that, or things that you don't want to do so if you want to lose weight and you start fasting which is not what you want to do because you want to keep eating the the cortex will grow and it's the same for doing anything that you don't want to do. So this is not about adding more work, more workload to your system. It's about doing the things you don't want to do. So what they found is that it's bigger in, in, in people. I'll read it. I'll read it. Um, the anterior mid cingular cortex is um, gets bigger when you diet. It's larger in athletes. It's especially large or grows large in people that see themselves as ch as overcoming a challenge. 
and it's also big in people that live the longest. So this area is not just, it's not just responsible for the seat of willpower, but also fundamentally the will to live. And I, I find that fascinating is that this area, it's, it grows and develops when you put it through hardship and you overcome barriers in your life. And fundamentally, it's, it's, it's responsible for your will to live and survive. So, you know, I think that's, that's got to be providing you with, with increased willpower, determination, confidence that you can overcome those problems. Uh, you know, and I've always felt this to be the case, but now we've got uh, we've got proof here. We've got scientific proof that 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 is the case. And so, uh, you know, I think uh, days four and five is where that tends to be most profound. So if you can get to those stages, uh, you're really, really doing yourself some good. And, you know, there are also studies to show that you start to rejuvenate with your your cell rejuvenation um, with that clearing out uh, helps to rejuvenate your, your your system and your body and your cells in general so um, so if that's not enough to encourage you to keep going I don't know what is because that's you know if someone said to you like I've got this pill take this pill and, and straight away you're going to start um, clearing out all the all the rubbish cells in your system and you're going to start eating away those fat stores you'll start to improve your cognitive um, system your your cognitive system responsible for rejuvenation health well-being and the determination to live the will to live will be there for you do you want to take this pill you'd say yes you'd say yes but if I said to you, take this pill, but you've got to, you know, you've got to overcome the difficulties for it to work, then it doesn't seem so easy. But actually, with it fast, that's that's what you're doing. And, you know, it's short lived. The difficulty is short lived. It's just a few days. And when you've completed it and you look back, it doesn't seem like anything at all. It seems like a relatively short amount of time when you're in day two you're not thinking that but believe me you know you can celebrate with a mint tea that it's not going to be that long in relative terms so i hope that has helped you and inspired you to keep going because the words of of these people uh have been a real influence for me and um you know i know people go longer they go into seven days or more and i i think the the scientific study is that those benefits start to decrease uh after five or seven days so it seems that there's there's little point or there's less point or less profound effects if you if you if you keep going um and so and, and of course you're going to get to that point where you know you've used up all your reserves uh, and you're going to start going into decline so there is this you know this this happy medium stage of, of three to five days possibly seven um so yeah hope that helps